Welcome to UK Theme Parks. Welcome to Fort Park Resort on a cold, wet, miserable day as we take a look at the construction that's going on. Well, I say for next year, really, it's for 2024 with the uh, new coaster, Project Exodus, which has now really started to take shape down there in terms of clearing and we can see you know, a clear goal. Now I know, I know everyone keeps saying to me there is a plan, everything, and how they set out to do it and how quickly they've planned to do it. But this will be one of Merlin's quickest projects if they manage to get this open by sort of March 2024. But we're intrigued to see. Now, whilst we're down this end, Kurt will show you a few bits and pieces. He's taking a few shots now. Uh, we can see the teacups are being worked on. We can see that Tidal Wave's being worked on as well. That's actually having a little bit of a repaint and a little bit of primer put on. Fort Park put that on their Facebook, so we know that's happening. And in terms of down there, the trains have now left, completely gone. Um, they're not being scrapped. They are actually going to be refurbished. I know one of them is staying in the UK and I'm pretty sure that'll be found out quite quickly once it's been refurbished and kind of reopened at its new home uh, slightly up north. So yeah, that's great to see. None of them staying at the park, but um, yeah, they, they are going to be saved. They are being saved, not just melted down, which is brilliant. So we'll show you along here. We'll show you anything sort of noteworthy along here, but really the action is going on in Old Town, which is being completely dismantled as we speak. Can't be long now till Logger's Leap disappears. So we'll get you some final shots of the drop. We can see here at the base of the Nemesis Inferno exit is expected to be sort of a new power generator area which is being installed. That wasn't being done last time we were here but you can see sort of just here some of the new bits and pieces which will be going in. Now infrastructure work is quite important especially when it comes to electrics. The amount of uh, power cuts at Fort Park get are quite unreal. It's not their fault to be fair, I know people blame them but I'm not surprised that we can see work like that going on around here. Uh, over there as well, the train is still on the final brake run. Looks like it's been taken apart a bit more. We'll get some close-ups of that as well. No work going on on track this year. We've seen scaffolding and welding done in previous years, but this year doesn't look like anything needs to be done. All the action is here in Old Town as expected as Project Exodus really starts to move forward now and we can actually see progress being made. Now we've just got some shots of Colossus as well. It's the first time we've actually been able to see Colossus with no track. Uh, whilst it's difficult to get shots of it for you, um, to see it in person again is, is quite surreal. But here we are down at Old Town and you can see that clearing right the way across there is well, well underway now. Now Rocky Express is still here. As you can see, no care is being taken with Rocket Express. That is because it is going to be scrapped. That's what we've heard. That's why it's not been moved out. It's kind of been moved out of its house area so that the electrics can be pulled out and everything. But the ride will be scrapped. But as you can see going across, it's far more open than it's been for a long time. Obviously, we are going to get some more shots shortly. And yeah, there won't be many places to be able to see this outside of uh, inside of the park once it all starts. But Saw, might have to ride Saw a bit more this year. And certainly the top of Colossus, two of my favourite rides in the park. But we'll have to ride this year, Kurt, to get a good view of what's going on. <laughs> Got to start somewhere at the end of the day and it's starting with land clearing around this area which will be you know quite a focal sort of access point 
Um, as you can see, the Rocky Express base area has gone. It looks like the uh, food building's gone. These are uh, wonderful tent things. They've, they've sort of, they've sort of stood the test of time so far, but they'll be gone shortly as well. And we can see land clearing going right over there with all the fences down and everything. So yeah, a lot going on. We'll see if we can get you any more shots. So as we can see, all the fences are down now. Construction is very, very much, or clearing is very, very much going. It's definitely the end for Creek Freak Massacre. See the side of the building. And it looks like bits have been stripped out as well. All the groundwork for Rocky has been completely ripped out. Bit of Rocky Express sitting there. We've even got some tree trimming as well. Those more fence been replaced down here and there is the loggers leap drop. Now I imagine much like the flume at Alton Towers that this will just be bulldozed at some point. Um, and again, I think these fences on the inside here will probably have to come down. I mean, they might leave them up for a bit of privacy potentially, but I think one day we'll just walk down here and this drop will be gone. And that'll be a sad end to what was a classic, classic log flume. Down there remains the shed area, as you can see where the trains were stored. Uh, track and everything has all been removed out of there now, it's all gone. Um, and I did wonder whether that would be demolished, because we did see the skip next to it, but perhaps actually they might keep that as storage. It's obviously a perfectly good building. Um, it obviously doesn't leak that bad because the trains have been in it for a few years, and they look all right to be fair when they, when they come out. So yeah, perhaps they'll use that as some kind of storage rather than just ripping it straight down. It's a nice, nice big area, to be fair with you. Perhaps they will. Right, Fort Park, there we go. That's our first update of 2023 from Fort Park as Exodus starts groundwork. Now I know, I know it's groundwork and everyone goes, oh, it's just mud and wood and blah, blah, blah. Everyone said the same about the world of Jumanji last year and look at that now. It's got to begin somewhere. And you know, you've got to get excited now that Fort Park are gonna, are gonna be building the UK's tallest coaster to break a record that's been sat there for, will be 30 years. It's quite something. Got to begin somewhere and it's begun now. Project Exodus is underway at Fort Park. Can't wait for it, can't wait for it. But speculate below, who do you think it will be? What do you think it will be like? Do you think it's gonna have a few surprises? Do you think it'll change very slightly? Let us know in the comments below. But from UK Theme Parks, my name's Adam from Fort Park Resort. Landscape's about to change here. Island will change forever. We'll see you soon.